Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, July 26th. It's the sixth week after Pentecost and week three in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 55, and Matthew 27, verse 11 to 23. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice, with all your tongues God's glory sing. <clears throat> Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Alleluia. Psalm 55. And together. Alleluia. Give ear to my prayer, O God. <clears throat> Do not hide yourself from my plea. Attend to me while I complain. Hear me and answer me. Because of the voice of the enemy. Because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me. And in anger they hate me. My heart is sore within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. <clears throat> then I would wander afar and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the raging winds and the storm. Destroy them, O God, and confuse their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen go about its walls, but violence and sorrow are in her midst. Wickedness is everywhere in the city. Her streets are never free of deceit and corruption. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, if it had been that I could have borne it. Neither was it someone that hated me and boasted of himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. But it was you, my intimate friend, my guide and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together. We walked together in the house of God. Let death seize them, and let them go down quickly into hell, for wickedness is among them and in their dwellings. And as for me, I will call upon you, my God, and you will save me. Evening, morning, and noon I pray and cry aloud, and you shall hear my voice. You have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were too many against me. You, O God, enthroned of old, shall hear and afflict them, for they never change, and they do not fear you. My companion raised his hand against me, and has broken our pact, with words smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, and yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Most High, and God shall sustain you. God will never let the righteous stumble. For you, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. The bloodthirsty and deceitful shall not live out half their days and I will trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my plea. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 27, beginning at verse 11. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, You say so. 
But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. And then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Who do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. And while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man for today. I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. And Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? And all of them said, Let him be crucified. And then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, Hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community, and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for unity in the church that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Let us sing together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God Most High, accept our burdens, and let us never stumble. Be our peace and still our trembling hearts, and sustain us always as we place all our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.